Number 88, Cody Peterson. And the country turn. Visiting with the coach of the Dragons, Jeff White, after the victory over Bishop LeBlanc, 41-14. Kind of set the tone early in this game, got the lead, and I think that was important. Then you could execute the things that you wanted to do offensively. Yeah, you know, it was one of those games, uh, just watching game film, and, uh, you know, we thought we had the advantage up front, and, uh, you know, they had, they had some talented kids. Uh, offensively, they've been putting up some good numbers these past couple weeks, so uh, the game plan was run the football, keep the ball out of the offense's hands, eat up the clock, and, we were able to do that. I uh, got to a point, uh, you know, later on in the first half where they were just, you know, playing cover zero and bringing everybody up to blitz and daring us to throw the football. And, uh, you know, we're able to get a couple passes off and then miss the one before halftime, which was wasn't a, wasn't necessarily a, a bad bad play on quarterback's part. We had receivers running the wrong routes and. Dakota threw it where the receiver was supposed to be, and, and the re receiver ran a different route. So, uh, ended up giving up that pick right before halftime. And, uh, but come back the second half, went you know went back to the game plan, uh, ran the football eight o'clock, and uh, was able to get some scores off it as well. How big was the punt return for a touchdown by Cody Peterson right at the start of the second half? It was big. You know, I got a uh, you know there for a minute with that interception right before half and giving up that score right before half. You know. Uh, you know, to, to the guys' credit, I don't think that it really uh, took much momentum out of our guys' hands. But we come out the second half, and that certainly, you know, got the momentum going in our favor, and uh, you know, got the offense going, and everybody was supercharged and uh, wanted to go down and and uh, play our brand of football and be physical, and, and we were able to do that. Defensively, I thought did a pretty good job of taking away Bishop LeBond's running a game and forcing McCullough to throw the ball. Yeah, you know, it, it got to be to a point, and you know, again, again, it comes down to the line. Uh, Fran just did been doing a great job for us all year, did another great job tonight. Um, you know, it got to the end, you know, second half of the game, and we pretty much knew that running game-wise they didn't have anything, and so we played, played our D-backs deep and tried not to give up anything big over the top and, and continue to allow our front seven to play ball, and uh, they did a great job. All right, 3-0. and Sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and homecoming coming up next week, so it's going to be a great week. It is. It is. Uh, Chillicothe's much improved ball club. Uh, you know, we told the kids it gets it gets tougher every week uh, from here on out. I, I think Chillicothe is going to be a tougher team than what LeBron was. Uh, not sure what they did tonight, um, you know, but we saw them over the summertime, and they're, you know, they're, they're much improved. Uh, it, it's going to be a very tough ball game. We're going to have to play our best game today. All right, Jeff, congratulations on the win. Thanks. All right, thank you. Jeff White, coach of the Dragons.